192 homicides in the city of St. Louis so far this year. Well, I can tell you that eight to nine shots were fired this morning here at Wellston City Hall. The police department located behind it. And police believe this is a definite threat by criminals in the area. The, the Board of Aldermen in St. Louis moving forward on a plan to buy up land in North St. Louis. It would force some people out of their homes. We have a developing story in Normandy. Just this afternoon, the State Board of Education voted to dissolve the unaccredited school district. Keith Conway was serving time for stealing from the city of Kinloch while he was mayor. Someone took the officer's Jeep last week from the Hillsdale Police Station parking lot. At one point, College Hill was called the most dangerous place in the city. It was declared a crime hotspot by St. Louis police who saturated the area with 80 extra officers. We just had stuff that we can do that kind of kept us out of trouble. Those individuals who are committing murders and continuing to walk the street, they're going to only embolden other young kids to pick up a gun because nothing is happening to those that are out here killing people. That they sold slaves down here? Yeah, here comes some slave owners walking past. <laughs> when was it? When was it? They, they was. They was. Uh, was they bringing them up here on the river? Uh, the Mississippi. They rolled through. <coughs> Mississippi. It started. They came through Louisiana. That's why the Louisiana Purchase is so significant in our and, history. You know, they teach us anyway. Like they came through. The Mississippi River, it's kind of through New Orleans and Louisiana. That's why all these cities are, these poor cities are popping Populated right now. The way they yeah, are. yeah, mm -hmm. straight up. Well, now we ain't really got Mexicans and shit or other races. We got black and white. You know, that's St. Louis. It's segregated, black and white. White people be where they be at. Black people be North County. That's it. Been segregated for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I think we were the last to desegregate. Actually, Missouri, one of the last to desegregate. Nah, this is what they had to do in Missouri. They had to uh, to free the slaves after after slavery was abolished. They had to bring in the federal government and like U.S. Marshals to force them to force free the yeah. for real. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's still St. Louis yep. mentality. Yep. See, that's, yeah. 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 That's the deal. That's, that's the way it is. It's still, it's still affecting us today. Cause it's still the same mentality. We just stepped in my zone, man. We are here in the hood, man. We in Page Dale, man. I let you boy, man. It's the county part, Oakmont, 1600 Trap Mile. See it right here, right there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers that did shit for this neighborhood right here. Couple motherfuckers that got killed right where we standing. My sister, she used to stay right here. You know, she stayed at another house over here too. At a few houses? Yeah, she stayed at like four houses on this block. You know what I'm saying? Uh, T.I., my cousin who just left, uh, his sister, his aunt T.I., rather I should say, stayed right there. Walk with me, walk with me, walk with me. Just walk, we ain't walking far, we ain't walking far, man. I'm gonna show you where it all goes down there for real. Where it really goes, this why. This is my alley. Hold on, let me show you the alley right here. You see that alley right there? That's, yeah. that's my alley right there. That's me. That's me right here. Now, I mean, come on. We finna. We just finna. I just want you to see the street. God damn me. What? 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 I thought you was gonna get a purse before. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. This my tenor right here, man. It all goes down on my tenor right here, man. It's a lot of fucked up, senseless shit happen. Bitches have a lot of shit to do with a lot of niggas getting fucked up. But you no, know, a lot of snake shit go on too. It's just size. Every everybody something different. Every street something different. They all so close together. Blood right here. Crips, next block crips all right here. Next block bloods all right here. Man, dangerous. That's why they like shit bloods and better than crips. They about money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, blood trying to get money and crips sitting there in gang pain yeah. like to the fuck. I'm ready to just like Saving these niggas, these niggas ain't really fighting over red and blue no more. They fighting over money and 
So they don't know, they don't know like the viciousness of like, there's it's different here. It's real, like that Ed Man 47, it's like gridiron. St. Louis Street's like a gridiron game. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker dying. Yeah. Every day. It's really that younger generation though. Like I was part of that. I went through that little phase, you know, but still though. People, them the ones you gotta but I watch think, out for. But I think that's the thing. That's always been my thing, Chris. Like, it's so easy to get off. It's so what's going on here. It make it so easy to get off, bro. It ain't left football for the goddamn we touch up and keep moving. We go on about our day like ain't shit happen. That's that's the that's the thing. That's the mentality. That's the St. Louis mentality. Yeah, yeah. It used to. It be a lot of unsolved blow a nigga murders. ass and go have lunch. You know, type shit. A whole lot of unsolved murders and. All types of shit. They said they don't have a little first 48 here. Huh? No, nah, they couldn't. Look, they was gonna have first 48 here, and they said they would not have a first 48 here because them St. Louis niggas is gonna try to get on the show. We're gonna be killing shit just to get, just to on, get on first 48. <laughs> That's crazy. For real. I could keep up with this shit here. They're gonna have first. It's gonna be too many episodes. They gonna That's be what like, they oh, said. yeah. They said it was too much. Too I ain't gonna stunt though, and this is anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I don't see too much random shit going on. Personally, I don't. I don't yeah, believe I, it. When motherfuckers be like, somebody randomly got shot. You know what I'm saying? I be like, nah. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, this bitch just got shot, now I can see a nigga fire into a crowd. You hit the wrong person, you hit that. That's random, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's all like just like straight random acts of violence that don't go on the time. Unless it's a robber, and it's still not random, random. It's mostly like a target. They probably have seen you a couple days before they just try you one day out the blue. A nigga got a shirt, really be hungry on some shit. In St. Louis, is the city where a nigga will get hungry. Straight motherfucking purge. That's what they wanted though. Shit, where you with us uh, during the ride to shit? Uh, I seen a lot of shit get burnt down. I seen a lot of looting. Uh, but to be honest with you, if you want to be all the way 100, like, I didn't see nobody start no fires. I seen so many random shit like burning up that I was like, what the fuck would they, what would the fuck with? But at all in all though, I seen the police scared. And that's, that's like, that was a scary feeling and a, a positive feeling at the same time to just be able to ride past the police and just see them put their head down, I never experienced that. I've always seen the police see me and they mug me until I put my head down. But to ride past them and straight see how shook they was, and I think that really did something for the people. Everything still look fucked up, you know, but they trying though. They putting more beauty stores. We just passed by a new beauty store. Beauty they trying. Store. I ain't seen no, uh, no rec centers for no kids or nothing built, a playground or nothing. And you know, uh, no disrespect to none of the movements, but uh, as far as what I've heard, that a lot of the movements brought in a lot of money. So I want to know where did that money go? Did the heads of those movements just pocket it or what? Like, because protesting don't cost you nothing but a water bottle and you walking. This nigga want to know about St. Louis shit. He got to come to all parts though, I will say that. Because every part is different. 
this this North County, North County and North North City, you know, they different from from the West. You know, West City and West County. West City ain't nothing like West County, you know. North County kinda like North City or any part of the city, but it's it's cleaner, you know. Still some fucked up places like Castle Point down uh Chambers with Chambers and New Hall Ferry. Chambers that go down. World class, world famous. Used to be racist. Now it's middle class black, Whitney Chase. Yeah. That's where we at, baby. Some people get 10 for less. So that's cool. to see this uh i don't even know how far this martin luther king i don't know this uh the old jail well actually it was a school mm -hmm. then they turned it into the jail the jail was so bad they closed down the jail and now it's whatever the fuck all this shit a wasteland it's probably nothing but, but yeah as you can see kenlock is definitely jealous it's a historic community and shit yeah uh as far as like, to be honest, here's your fact board. You know what I'm saying? Fucked up. Like, but as far as like straight history about it, I couldn't tell you because where can I find history on it? See, I not, heard like uh, it used to be like a segregated community, like black and white, and white people ain't want to live. Black people then they moved over to Berkeley and shit. Well, that's probably because black people are always own this community. So white people always had a problem with living under black people and anything. You know what I'm saying? White people wanted to jump off the bridge when motherfucking Obama got elected. Corruption, this what happens. Whenever this what happened in every black community. Uh they just they crumble that shit from the inside out. They to fuck over the rest of the citizens. That's what happened, and that shit's still going on. The <laughs> fire department, everybody, they still stealing. What little money this community may or may not have, they still taking it. Right? And they didn't turn the college that bought these out, they just a build project. Uh, up. All this shit. Yeah, it's where it used to go down. Niggas would be trapping it and shit like that. They turned this straight college apartment and it got gated off. It been gated off, but I'm not from Kenlock, you know. But what I do know about Kenlock is Kenlock was supposedly, even when I was younger, I remember Kenlock and Robinson full of nothing but black people and it was a good time, you know, so. <laughs> I know the airport came through, bought this shit up. They been buying it up though since before I was born. They been trying to get them out of here. And I don't know if this is true or false, but this is what they used to say. They used to say that this was the last, uh, this today is the last all black community. That's what they say, all I don't black know. City. All black city. It's mm -hmm. the last all black city. They, they built this. And I was talking about the sneakers, uh, they, they specifically chose this material so that when the sun hit it, it, it shined and looked different. Everywhere the sun hit it, every time you look at it, it's going to look different, right? But see, you know, the pyramids, man, they was using the sun to create uh, energy, to create uh, AC, alternating currents. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they use I our natural know. resources, we ain't, we ain't, you know? For energy, the significance of it is that just go to show you, and at the same time, like you see this, and how substantial and significant it is for us in St. Louis mm -hmm. and the pyramids. The pyramids been found all over the earth, and we cannot rebuild the pyramids with the technology we got today. You looking at this? This a, a masterpiece of building, but it ain't nothing compared to the pyramids. We can't Wait. redo the pyramids. Explain it to me. 